how to stop draft from your old PVC double glazed windows or doors. There's a few things you're going to need. I'm showing you here. The actual draft excluding um, membrane. It's like a rubber seal. I've got a few extra things here that I'm using. You don't need to have all of these, but it makes life easier. I've got a bit of sandpaper here. I'll show you how I use these. This is draft excluder. I picked this up on Amazon. The story here is the back door on the house it's quite an old door I'm talking about nine to ten years and the rubber seal is ripped I went down to the local double glaze guys and I said do you sell this rubber seal they said we don't sell it and I said okay I have a problem with my door what can I do they said you need a new door I said just because of the rubber seal they said yes how much does it cost 500 pounds I was like mate yeah okay thank you I went to Amazon Picked up this uh, rubber thing, twenty four ninety nine, I think, something like that. Came delivered, measured it, did a quick test. You can see the door here, and this is what's the, what the issue is. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get over this and keep an eye on your door measurements and sizes because every couple of years they change these seals. They're different rubber type seals, and the the groove can be slightly different. So use this as a resource if you're thinking about it. Take a little section out and see if you can replace it yourself. Otherwise, you'll need to do something else. There's a few other alternatives. I might cover those in a separate video. But in this one, I'm going to help you sort this out based on how I did mine. So you can see here my rubber seal was a bit mashed up. And what I ended up doing was using a standing blade and getting rid of the ripped pieces. Using it along the side of the actual rubber seal. You get a few funky views here. I wasn't planning to record it. It's uh, getting into winter here in the UK, so it's very dark no matter what time you're going to be recording. So yes, apologies for this lower quality video. You'll see here I'm using the blade with a nice sharp new standy blade blade in the blade. Blade blade in the blade. That's like a bit of a wrap there. But yeah, so you can see I took the rubber seal away. On this particular model of door, the rubber seal actually seems like it's stuck on the door as opposed to in the groove so you can see my draft excluder here I took a little section out I cut a little piece just to make sure that it does actually fit and it did it did fit nicely into the groove this is a 0 0.5 mil groove so 0 0.5 is half a centimeter and this uh, new excluder fits nicely I wanted to make sure it's a snug fit so it doesn't re remove when the dog comes in and out uh, on the bottom or the sides or if it like you know hits your coat or whatever if you're bringing something in so you can see it fits nice in the groove i use the the light on the camera i'm using a mobile phone to film this so you'll see the view here of the rubber seal and it fits in nicely so it made me uh, a bit more happy that okay yeah let's get rid of all the old rubber and replace it now there's different types you can get in this you can get 0 0.9 mil thick which is under a centimeter they also call one of them thicker which is like one centimeter so if you have a bigger gap than a centimeter you need to get one of the more industrial type ones that you see all over TikTok. those rubber type ones here's a bit of better lighting actually here now so you can see all i'm doing here is pushing the blade along the old rubber ripping it out and then getting a nice clean surface to uh, import the new rubber in so the main tips i would give you here is make sure this is really old door You'll see it's a bit all over the place. So I have got plans to change this door out myself at some point. But this draft is just becoming unbearable because the kitchen and the bathroom just felt like outdoors in terms of the wind coming through these gaps. So for the interim fix for $24.99, I'm like, you know what, yeah, I'll give it a shot because at least I can let other people know that maybe you are struggling at the moment with heating and you know what it's like at the moment. So just wherever you can, save a bit of time. So you can see here, this is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting that away. And as I cut the rubber away, it comes away from the door and that allows it, uh, the, the frame I should say, not the door, because there's two seals here. The seal I'm looking at is around the frame of the outer door on the inside of the door, if that makes sense. In, I keep pulling a door, frame. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. There's two types of seals. You get one around there and one around the outside. I went around, cut them all off, and then I used a bit of sandpaper with a block just to square off any of the remaining rubber left. I didn't go mad with this. I gave you a couple of uh, rubs around the frame and just looked to see if there were any gaps. This will show you if the frame's twisted or if there's anything else that you need to worry about. Because ideally you want a sound frame. When I say sound, I mean straight. If there's any you know, grooves in there or anything dodgy, then the, the seal won't do its job and you definitely need a new frame and a door most likely. So here you can see I just rubbed that back and you can see based on the old rubber, it was actually stuck. I don't know how they stuck it, it was very, 
well stuck uh, apart from the middle section so there's a groove behind that and it was a bit of a mess because over the years I've put some of that you know that cheap drafting scooter foam thing here with the double sided tape I put a couple of those on last uh, year you'll see the remnants of it around the frame and that created a bit of like it looks a bit manky um, however just give it a good clean where possible and just wipe away any of the old residues a good point just to do an inspection around it and this gives you a good bit what all I'm using is an all-purpose cleaner like a, a floor tile cleaner type situation you can get some of that fancy silicon stuff they use for double glazing but yeah you know just use what you've got there's no rocket science behind this it's just making sure you can get it to a place where it's a bit more clean and you've got a new seal in there basically again look it's getting even darker now how long does this take me? This took me about 45 minutes in total, once you've got all the tools available. So just close all the other room doors and just, you'll have one point where you'll be really cold because you're, you're, you're fixing it in the, ideally you do this in summer, before winter. But in summer you never know that, oh this is the amount of air is coming out. Here you go. So I'm putting the rubber seal in the groove and I'm showing you here, as I've put it in, I'm pulling it back out again. I'm just rolling it and just making sure it's a nice secure fit in there. So the inner section there fits in and you give it a bit of a push in then go up and down and you can even use a cloth on it just to help it push in so the seal looks like a nice fit a good squeeze in there and i'm hoping just to get rid of all our, our problems for there's certain spots which i noticed that were like the troubles like for example on the hinge side of the door that's where i was getting a lot of draft from but just work it and slowly push it into that little groove in mine it's one single groove I'll put my torch on my uh, phone and show you a bit of a closer look here. So you can see I came all the way to the bottom, left a bit of overhang and that will allow us to have a nice seal. I've seen a few videos online about this kind of thing and they worry a lot about the corners. You can go a bit fancy and do like a, a bit of a, a fancy corner cut or you can just over, uh, just do like a square butt joint. Either way works. I think I did a little clip when I finished. I'm doing this voiceover after the fact that uh, I've done it. So it's been four or five days now and I'm a lot warmer in my kitchen. I tell you that. There's no drafts or anything, so it has done its job, but I had to do a few extra adjustments. So here you'll see I'm using that uh, cloth again, just to give it a light wipe over, just to make sure it's seated correctly, and I don't feel like anything's not seated correctly, because when you open and close the door, you might end up dinging it. So along the bottom of the door, take another piece, same thing all the way around the frame, there's nothing too fancy about this. I used a bit of pliers to cut the corners off behind the bead that goes into the hole, moved it around. You know, it's if you're a little bit handy, around the house this is a standard task if you're not too good with this kind of thing maybe ask a family friend or neighbor that likes to do this kind of you know work and diy stuff and maybe give them a, a drink a pizza and maybe 20 30 quid an hour or something they'll probably help you out knowing the climate at the moment even food would be helpful for the the current climate people are struggling with so here you see the tools are used again as a recap and it did work well and overall i'm pleased with how it turned out just keep an eye on it and I think you should be able to get through this quite easily. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. However, if you have not been able to do it based on watching this video, I would recommend getting someone else to do it for you. Because this, I've broken this down in a way that you should, if you have a, a DIY type mind, you should be able to see this and be like, okay, yeah, I understand what you're doing. If you're getting hung up with smaller details, then maybe it would be best you hire someone to do this for you. Because it isn't for everyone. Not everybody has the same mindset where they can watch something and just re replicate or fix it. Or you might have different circumstances because your frame might be different. And you'll see here that little bit of rubber left over. It actually acted as a seal between the rubber and my new bead excluder, draft excluder. So this is how it looks. The actual rubber itself and i'll put a link in the description so if you need to pick it up you can pick it up however you will do this at your own peril yes just give it a go and see what happens if in doubt hire someone to come in and do it for you or go back to the double glazing guy and he asked me 500 pound mate smack that in his face yeah hopefully this helps you see you on the next actually wait a minute no i'm not gonna end this if you're watching this far well done there's a little bit extra that i had to do yeah on the door frame itself I replaced the seal however on the door the inner door lip there is also a seal how can I make sure that my seal is good I wasn't too sure what to use I ended up using brown sauce because that's the brown sauce is the odd one I I used that to go around my new seal to test it to see if I am getting a good seal so you notice I closed the door and locked it and then looked at 
where when I opened it where the brown source transferred over to which means the rubber is contacting at that point and where the rubber is not contacting there will be no source if that makes sense so overall it was a decent gap between the hinge side so I had to do a little bit of adjustment on the hinges of the door so you'll see here that's the brown source so it has made contact with the main areas where the door sucks itself in and that worked uh, half decent all the way around however the hinge side here see that big gap there there's a lot of gapage there so that made me think okay the opposite side of the door the hinge is not pulling the door in close enough to the seal now this is where I had to take the hinge uh, mounting system off the back used an allen key and adjusted that I might make a separate video if you get this far and you're still having gaps you may need to adjust the door itself so let me know in the comments and then I might have to make a secondary video to show you the adjustment bit because I didn't record that because this was mainly about the draft excluder and I had a bit of a nightmare wiping the, the source off. Let me know if there's a better way of testing this but source was too sight so that's what I used. Let me show you what I mean the hinges. This is the hinges on the back of the door. And there's an adjuster here with Allen keys you can screw in and out to just adjust the door or take a few